Okay, welcome back here and in this video we are going to be starting a new series here and it's going to be kind of a longish series of videos and in them we are going to be cloning uh, Twitter here. So all this uh, divisive nastiness, we are going to be trying to copy that and put it into our own app. Um, and how are we going to go about doing that? Well, let's take a look at the uh, tech stack we're going to be using here. So for our back end, it's going to be Node.js with GraphQL. We're going to use Prisma kind of uh, as an ORM. Um, our database is going to be Postgres here, and we're going to be using TypeScript as well. All right, and then for our front end, we are going to be using React uh, Apollo client to connect to our database, uh, sorry, to our back end, and again, uh, TypeScript on the front. So this is what we're going to be doing, and we're going to be doing it somewhat from scratch. So uh, yeah, it should be kind of a long process, but hopefully it is helpful. So let's uh, get right into it. All right, so we're going to go ahead in this video, we're going to be doing kind of the setup of the project. So the first thing we're going to want to do is to come over to here. And this is just kind of a bunch of different Prisma examples that can kind of give us a starter. Uh, kind of a starter code base to work with. So you can see here they're getting updated pretty pretty regularly um, And there's just a bunch of them. So the one we're going to be using is we're just going to go and use this uh, GraphQL auth So this will give us uh, the ability to sign in with the username and password So either you can go ahead and Google that or um, come to this URL up here and what we're gonna wanna do right now is to get the code. So we can uh, get the HTTPS here and we wanna copy this over. So go ahead, do that. And then you wanna come over to some sort of uh, terminal here. I got mine here. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is CD into anywhere that you want to uh, store this directory. So for me, that's desktop. So I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna make a new directory uh, with mkdir and I am going to call it, what, tweet, Twitter we'll call it, Twitter clone. And we're gonna run that and then we're gonna cd into Twitter clone. Well, let's open it up in our um, VS code where we wanna do the majority of our work here. All right, so this is where we're gonna be doing most of our work. So we're gonna come in here and open up the integrated terminal here. Uh, we don't need that and we can just bump this size up a little bit so you can see a little bit better. And we wanna go ahead and go git clone and then we wanna paste in these examples and it's gonna clone in for us. All right, so once that is done running, we are good. Now, if we look in this folder, we have all these different ones and uh, we don't actually need all these different ones. So let's go into the TypeScript one that we're gonna be using and into our uh, GraphQL auth and we can just pull that out, uh, bring it out, we'll move it, boom, that's all good. And then you can see that that is here. So we want to, well, let's actually bring that out again here. Let's just pull it out to the main uh, root folder. So now it's up here, so that's good. And then we can go ahead and we can just delete uh, the Prisma examples folder. So let's do that. Okay, so now we have all this. So let's rename this actually um, to, we're gonna call it server. And then we're gonna have our app folder. So that should be good. So they come down to the bottom here and we're gonna CD into server. Boom, and then we're just gonna run uh, npm install, npm i. Okay, so that is good. Now we got our node modules and uh, we got a TS config down here, which is gonna be for our TypeScript, which is great. And then we got our SRC and we got type. So they gave us also a few queries and whatnot already in there and then our mutations. So we have kind of a nice base right here to work with, which is uh, helpful. Um, so this is how this is gonna work. So let's come in. We're in our server and all we have to do is run, um, I believe npm start. Nope, npm 
run dev. Okay, and now you can see we should, if we control or command click rather, it should bring up our GraphQL playground. Boom, so that's kind of nice. And you can see on the side here, uh, if we bump that up a little bit, uh, I right, got our docs and we have a few things already set up for us. So this is kind of neat. Uh, we already have some sort of back end running um, and it seems to be working. Uh, this is just from before when I was testing it out. And then we have our schema here. So that is all good. So that is in a nutshell, uh, our backend setup. Now, right now it's using S uh, SQL Lite and we are gonna switch that to Postgres, but I think we'll probably be doing that in the next video. But let's go ahead and finish up with um, our, uh, our front end here. So let's get that going. So what we're gonna wanna do um, we can add TypeScript. We're gonna use Create React App, but we can also add TypeScript just with a, uh, a template here. So I'm gonna use Yarn for that. So I'm gonna copy that over and then come back over to our um, code here. I'm gonna open up a new window here and we are gonna say and paste that in. So Yarn Create uh, React App and then in here, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna call this We'll go web. All right, so that is all done. Installing all our dependencies are done and we can see in this web folder here, we have our uh, front end React app uh, set up with TypeScript as you can see with the TS config here. If you look in here, uh, we just have a bunch of TSX files and uh, yeah, this is kind of the base of our app. So let's give it a go here. And we are just gonna say npm or yarn start. I think you can use npm or yarn, doesn't matter. Uh, that is not found, but that's because we got a CD into our, what do we call it, web. And then we'll go yarn start. All right, so now we have this up and running at localhost 3000, so that is good. Now, the back end and the front end aren't connected at all yet, um, and the back end's not even connected to a database, so we're gonna have to fix all that. But uh, yeah, that's kind of the basic setup that we have for uh, this project. So from there, it's just kind of adding as we go. So that's gonna be it for this first video. Um, we should be releasing these videos uh, once or twice a week and just kinda of see as we go. So hopefully uh, you like the video and um, come back next time and we're gonna uh, connect the back end to a database, a Postgres database. All right, thanks for watching.